What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you a video on how to repaint your interior door uh, pieces on your 350Z. Uh, right now, some tools you will need is, uh, I went ahead and bought one of these at Harbor Freight. It's just a pry tool. Bought this for 13 bucks, but they always have coupons, so you can buy it for about uh, 10 bucks. Uh, you'll need a 10 mil, 10 mil socket, and that's pretty much it. So, let's get right to it. First, uh, this is it. This one doesn't look as bad just because it is the passenger side, but the driver side is the one that's really bad. So what you want to do is go ahead and get your pry tool. Go ahead and stick it right underneath. Make sure you're pretty careful just in case you don't break it. Pry a little bit right there. Right from the side too. Should start coming off in just a second here. Move that carefully. Next step, you want to go ahead and remove two bolts, one right here and one right here. Those should be 10 mils. You're going to need an extension for it. So let's do that next. All right, so right after you take those two bolts off, go ahead and take it off. Bottom one's gonna be a little difficult. There you go. Perfect. There we go. You want to be pretty careful you don't tug on these wires just so you don't break anything. Let me put this back right here. I didn't really get on camera, but what you want to do is go ahead and just jam your flathead in right there and take all these little pieces off because they're connected right in that hole. Messing with that was giving me a hard time. Let's see if I can get this last one here. Nope, don't think I'm gonna be able to get it. Oh, there we go. Voila! There we go. Took that piece off. And then obviously, here it is. Our interior piece trim panel, whatever you want to call it. So it should be pretty much the same process for the other side as well. So let's go ahead and get to that one. Now this is the one that is really bad as you can see just because when you're coming in and out of the car you obviously put your hands on this and you touch it consistently. So it's pretty much the same exact process as the last one we did on the passenger side so let's go ahead and get right to it. This one does not want to budge at all. Hmm. Let's try to pry the front off a little bit more. Oh, did you look at that? Just went ahead and came right off. So let's get to the next step. Get your flathead. Sorry, I forgot to mention you will need a flathead. Get these side pieces off. Once you do the one side, it becomes a lot easier. Seems like. Same exact thing. This side. Hopefully it'll stop being difficult. There we go, I took that one off. Now here's the big step. Couldn't take the other one off, so I just left it on. Oh, it's the same exact thing. Cool. Come on here. 
see if I can get this one. There we go. Voila! This side came off like a glove. And would you take a really good look at this one, how beat up it is. Look at that. Try to get a focus in here. I'm gonna do some sanding. I got some 80 grit, work my way to some 150. After that, 400, then I'll do 800, and then 1500 right after. So I'll show a little bit of sanding on camera, but a lot, not a lot, so. Go ahead and try to start sanding this stuff off. The pieces I'm gonna get the most, well, the places I'm gonna get the most are probably the places that are touched the most, so right here, around the edges as well. Two of painting the interior door panels. Right now I'm gonna be primering it. So what you wanna do is go ahead and shake up your can for about a minute. After that, we're gonna start applying some light coats to the inside panels themselves. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. There we go. And we're gonna actually be doing light coats. We don't wanna go too heavy on it. We don't want anything to drip. All right, there we go, here's our first coat. You're gonna to wanna to let it sit for about 10 minutes. It shows on the bottle. And that says it's pretty much based on 70 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a little bit hotter, so we'll let it sit for about 15 minutes. Come back, do another coat. Here you go, everybody. Here is the finished product of what it looks like now. Let's take a quick look. We'll go ahead and take a look at the other side as well. Okay, so by the time you guys are watching this video, I've been done with the interior door panels for probably about a week now or so. So what I did was, I didn't show a lot of it on camera just because, just didn't. Um, I went ahead and started standing it. I first started with 80 grit sandpaper, but after a while I kind of noticed that it was a little bit of overkill to sand it with the 80. So I went to 240. 400, 800, 1500, then I did 3000 grit right after. And the 3000 grit really give it really, really gave it a smooth finish. And compared to the original one with the really nasty oily paint, feels a lot better. Um, so I also, these are the two items I used. There wasn't any professional paint or anything. It was Rust-Oleum, so if you wanna take a look at this. Black, I went for the flat black finish. And I also had matte clear as well and I picked both of these up at Walmart. Can't remember, maybe 15 bucks. So all in all, I can have something that says how much it cost me in total, but for the end result, it came, came out really good. And you should have seen it a couple minutes ago, what the before result looked like and the after, and as you can tell, it looks a lot better. So I can give you guys an update a little bit uh, farther into the future just to see how it's holding up but for now it looks pretty good and if you guys like this video go ahead and like comment subscribe and i'll talk to you guys later see ya